6, Harvey Gant, the first African-American student at Clemson University. Uh, 60 years ago, the federal courts initially denied his request, but reversed its decision on appeal, turning Tillman Hall into a global stage. It was January 28, 1963. Uh, Clemson University gave him a big thank you for his courage. Steve Crump shares his story. Celebrated for blazing a new found trail, Clemson University gave Harvey Gant a big thank you for his unflinching courage that came 60 years ago. It's far more than I ever imagined when I was a 20 year old kid, just wanting to get a degree in architecture and practice somewhere in the South. Harvey, when did uh, you first decide you wanted to go to Clemson College? Uh, I was thinking about it for quite some time. I believe I made a concrete decision during my first quarter at Iowa State back in 1960. In the 1960s, the Gant family stood strong during a contentious legal fight for fairness as he attempted to become Clemson University's first African-American student. The federal courts initially denied his request, but reversed its decision on appeal, turning Tillman Hall into a global stage on January 28, 1963. Harvey Gantt stepped from the car, surrounded by reporters and photographers from all over the country. His emotions remained in check. And just feeling pretty calm and hoping that I would stay calm, calm enough to sign my name on the dotted line that would register me ultimately as a student at Clemson. Months before Gantt arrived at the South Carolina College, two people died at the University of Mississippi as James Meredith became its first black student. And Governor George Wallace stood at the doors of the University of Alabama protesting the admission of three African-American students in the very same year Harvey Gantt was admitted to Clemson. At Clemson, uh, one of the surprises was uh, that there were no riots because, and the students said, come on, uh, we're now in the 20th century and it's time to uh, integrate. Civil rights photographer Cecil Williams covered the event for Jet Magazine and found a unique spot in the pack of journalists. One compelling image remained seared in his psyche. Here was a moment in history that was happening right in front of my eyes, and there were picture opportunities everywhere. Graduating with honors in 1965 led to a master's degree from MIT, and another groundbreaking moment came for the Charleston native in his adopted hometown of Charlotte. We won! <laughs> Elected in 1983 as the Queen City's first African-American mayor, 20 years after making history at Clemson, 2009 brought the opening of Charlotte's Harvey B. Gantt Center. Other tributes come in places like Tillman Hall and his college alma mater now operates the Harvey and Lucinda Gantt Multicultural Center focusing on diversity and inclusion. His wife, Lucinda, is known to many as Cindy. The school has been good to me. You know, it's where I met my wife, who was the second, the second African-American student on the campus. Such an enduring and important legacy has been examined through both the lenses of magnifying glass as well as microscope. And university officials on this campus viewed what happened during 1963 as integration with dignity. Bringing attention to this diamond anniversary also resulted in an on-campus gallery exhibit showcasing his life and times. And at age 80, embracing success means inhaling the roses. Well, I'm retired. I hoped I would be off the stage. Um, but, you know, on a celebration like this, you got to come out of hiding, so to speak, to come and look back on what 60 years has done.